Major Slack Attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Vampire Lord. And here we are at the fourth way shrine, and I forgot to fill up the bowl. Let's do that now before I forget. And we have one more to go. To get there, we have to go through here. Portal to the Shrine of Resolution. Let's go through here. Don't worry about it if Serana comes with you. She'll eventually catch up. Here, push up to the southwest. You're going to follow this ledge along the side of the mountain up to the southwest. Yep. Pretty safe to the top of the mountain. Get some stamina happening here. And what you're looking for <laughs> is these two moonstone ore veins. Pass through there. Here, get your sneak on. Sneak on down here. You'll see a bridge. Forget about the bridge. What you're doing is you're going down here through a small Falmer camp. I forget if there's any choruses in here. Um, should be able to sneak through without any visi invisibility potions. Let's give it a shot. Yep, it's good. And into here, the glacial crevice. At this point, yes, yeah, Rhino will have caught up. This next part um, is best handled as a vampire lord. In fact, it's a total riot as a vampire lord. Let me just do a quick save just in case anything goes horribly wrong. And make sure we got all our ducks in a row. Vampire lord wise, glitch build necklace. Ring of the erudite. Yeah, we're ready to rock. What a rip. Wing. Okay, and equip vampire. Oops. What did I do? Vampiric Grip. This is going to be your main weapon. This is a ride. Everything just goes over the side. That's it. That's all. It's that simple. Over the side. You're going to take a little bit of heat every once in a while. <laughs> it's too funny. Come from this broken bridge here. Go up on the left side. Watch out for traps. Tripwires and whatnot. There's a tripwire right there. Okay, Mr. Spider, you want to fly air slack? Of course you do. Everybody wants to fly air slack. Who did that? I don't think so. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. Vampiric grip is That's one thing about this as I mentioned before, it's a little glitchy, the aim is a little glitchy. Okay, once you've dispatched those guys, go through here. Once again, keep a sharp eye out for trip wires. Let me just do a quick save. There's one right there. those. Those are instant kills.
<laughs> bouncy, bouncy. see me aiming a little bit off to the right when I use my uh, vampiric grip I found a lot of the times the um, the targeting works better like that so yeah it's not that I can't aim I'm doing that on purpose them too far. Nope, okay, that's good. Yeah, sometimes aim right on, it works. Other times, aim a little bit to the right. If you're targeting right on, and it doesn't work, try aiming a little to the right. I don't know why that is, but uh, it seems to work for me. Oh, okay, you watch out for trip wires. There's another one right there. It's already been tripped. Oh, that wasn't a trip wire, okay. And back to the Forgotten Veil vale we go. Alright, in this part, let's revert for him. Get our sneak on again. Where are you going, Serana? Hunker down. Embrace the shadows happening. Um, I forget if there's any chorus around here. I don't like the look of this. All right, just keep calm there. Tripwire here, watch out. And of course, Serana triggered it. There's another tripwire there to my to my left. Of course, she triggered that. This guy gets a little feisty. You I'll go for him. Go past him. Just forget about Serana. <clears throat> she loves to raise hell. Just let her do her thing. There's no one right here. Okay, come on. You just go. Yeah, that boy. Just go right on past there. Oh yeah, and you go off to the left here and go down this little chute. And up the hill. And we're pretty much home free. Except for a little rock trap. Here, this rock trap seems unavoidable, so get ready to take an invisibility potion as soon as you trigger this trigger. Go off to the right, chorus pops out. Take an invisibility potion, there's the chorus. Sneak by on the right.
and we made it. Prelate dude, good to see you. Found the way shrine of radiance in I have now, eh? Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Most definitely. May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum and final enlightenment. Yeah, why, thank you. Once again, don't worry if Sarana does not accompany you. She'll eventually catch up once we go up here a few doors. Okay. Can't do this while I'm in combat. Dang it. I can wait. Come on, game. Cooperate. Damn it. Please release me. Let me go. Um, here we go again. This happened to me in my original Dawn Card walkthrough. Would you say this was the Shrine of Learning? Or I gotta remember it's because maybe if I just uh, fast travel through one of these portals. Funny, I can wait. Normally, you can't wait while you're in combat. Bingo. Wait a minute. We already did that one. Is this the right one? Okay, I forgot which one it was supposed to be. Uh, Shrine of Resolution, Shrine of Learning, Shrine of Radiance. Saran is with me. Atta boy! Freaking game. It's just release me, game! Okay, Saran is with us. That's the solution. I always just go through one of the portals and come back and, um,. May She'll eventually join you. Yeah, ta, ta now. We'll see you in the funny papers. Okay, so we filled up all five of them. Or rather, drew water from all five of them. And the sound effects on my heal spell is glitched out again. Jeez. <laughs> All right. That should open up this door. And we are in. The inner sanctum. Okay, sound effects back up to snuff. In here, best thing you want to do is hit up this shrine of Oriel and gather up all the goodies. There we are. Yeah. All right. Let's go whack Gelabor's brother. This is a hell of a fight. Not nearly as tough as the Harkon fight, the Lord Harkon fight, but uh, this is a this is something to be reckoned with. Oriel's Chapel. 
Okay, you'd be best to... First of all, we gotta get Serana down. Somehow, sometimes has problems get down, getting down from this ledge. Huh. That's cute. Okay, and here, this is where you're gonna get everything together. Before you go meet the guy down there, get it all together right now. Vampire Lord. Make sure we got the right gear on. Guilt Glitchfield Necklace, or rather your Gargoyle Necklace. Ring of the Erudite. And that's about it. Take a potion of Regenerate Magicka and take one of your fondues. Your elsewhere fondue. There we go. Get up and running. Gargoyle up and running. Quick save. And let's do this. Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? No, I think so. Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. So we are talking about wing. Okay, here we go. It's on. Spawn a couple of gargoyles out there. And get your vampire grip happening. And stay up here. Because eventually he's going to bring down the, the roof. And that can kill you. But you're pretty immune to it up here. First is a wave of course. Then there's a wave of Balmer. <laughs> I solved that problem. That's that. There's another one there. Okay. If any of these Falmer get too close, just grab them and launch them. Let's get a fresh set of smithers out there. You look a little threatening. No? Okay. Down. One thing I forgot to do is activate the blood of the ancients before all this. I definitely want to do that before the Lord Harkin fight. And he's down. Now he starts bringing down the roof. Just stay up here and you're pretty safe. You delay nothing but your own deaths. Watch out! He's pulling down the ceiling. Okay, now what happens is that won't happen until you go out there. Then a new wave spawns. Let's get some gargoyles out there. before attempting this. You can just quickly go out there like that and then go back and that might bring down the ceiling because you have to go out there to do that. Sometimes it kills some of the Falmer. 
You have to do that anyways, because that, that's the only way that uh, the quest will advance. And get right in there. Threading the needle here, boss. Sweet, very good. Oh, here, one more. comes with Frost Patronaut. Yeah, let's get some, uh, some fire goals happening here. Frost Patronaut is here. Priority number one. <laughs> Sorry, Tyranna. Keep your keep your left up. You got this. Just die already. <laughs> Everybody flies there, Slack. There we go. Got a little elbow rim. Feeling a little crowded there. Where'd you come? No. Okay, play nice there. And at this point, he just freaks out. Takes you to never never land. Uh -oh. uh, cab driver, you wanna just let me off at the end of the rainbow here? <laughs> Are you alright? Come on, yeah, I'm we good. can do this. I know we can. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. Okay. Let's get give Vampire Lord. Uh, okay, we can't access yet that yet, but get ready to go into Vampire Lord forum as soon as he starts the fight. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. <laughs> you go, girl. Burn. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're, you're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire, Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient, the blood of of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this all time right. for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. That's it. Game on. Vampire Lord. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Up, here you go. Get Vampire Grip happening, grab him. 
launch him over the side. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all. Quickest boss fight in the history of gaming. And he's dead. <laughs> What's your next objective? Oh yeah, speak to Gelibor, he's down there. Gelibor, my man. So the deed has been done. The dirty deed the has been done, done, done. The shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed actually weren't to blame. What? What are you talking about? He was a vampire, he controlled them. A vampire? Yeah. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Yeah, didn't think of that, did you? Inside, <laughs> it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. Ah, no problem. Twerk done. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. Me neither. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Okay. Can we have some more sun hallowed arrows? If I trust you're faring well. That's it. Kindred judgment is done. What will happen to you now? Even with Vertha gone, and the inner sanctum destroyed, my duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel remains. I have been sworn to protect this veil and everything it represents until I die. Farewell, friend. May the warmth of Oriel provide you strength. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. But still, <laughs> it's beautiful. We went through all that just for like nothing impressed, eh? At all I can help you with, please ask. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, we got the twelve sun hollowed arrows. We're probably only gonna use three or four in the Hargan fight, so that should be plenty. And we got Oriel's bow. Do not repeat, do not lose that or sell it. Let's make that number three right now. And that's it. The only thing that remains is the Lord Harkin fight. And for this, we're going to have to prep like quite a bit. We're going to have to turn into a... Make ourselves a quick and dirty destruction mage, which is what I've been working on so far. Um, let me just check my... Yeah, I think a quick trip back to the headquarters would be in order. Let me just do a quick save there just in case the Dawn Guard are waiting. <laughs> Again with the not as shiny stuff. Um, okay, so here we go. Coming out next. Prepping our destruction mage and then finally the Lord Harkin boss it's fight, which is gonna be a bitch. It's, it's gonna be a roll, but uh, yeah. Got it all worked out. And we're gonna make ourselves a destruction mage, like I said, works perfectly for Wing Crimson and his human vampire form. That's coming up in the next couple of videos, and after that we're done. We done. I finally made it. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page, and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.